Hey, people of the internet. Welcome to the first ever episode of The Gamer's Closet. Today, we are going to be playing Sins of Daisy. Brought to you by Gameshed.com. This is an RPG horror game. And I know I said I was going to play Undertale as my first Let's Play on this channel, but a few things came up, so we're just going to play this. Okay, let's get on with it. And I'm, I don't know if everybody saw the uh, first time I upload, or tried to upload this, my other camera was kind of crappy, so I'm recording this from my smart tab and stuff. So sorry for crappy quality. Alrighty. Let's get into this hellhole. New game. <clears throat> the following story is inspired by actual events. The name of the town and people have been changed to protect their identities. Choose episode. Episode 1. Lies. <clears throat> episode 1. Lies. The bodies of three teens were found inside a home today on Wednesday morning. According to the Foxwood Police Department, authorities say they found the bodies of Daisy Winters, 17, Rose Summers, 17, and 18-year-old Leslie Falls. All three girls were found face but the police department believe this incident was a suicide pact. Investigators are still trying to determine how the girls died. Also, viewer discretion is advised. Or something like that. Oh! Enter key. Nice music. By the way, I'm completely new at gaming. Horror games, especially. And let's get on with it. Hi, person! Thanks for coming, Quinn. I really need your help on, with this case. Those three girls. Let me just do this really quick so I can see the words better. Seriously? Sorry, people. Bear with me, please. Like I said, I'm completely new to this. Just a few moments, please. Really need to get better. Okay. There we go. Three girls. Are you talking about the girls who died yesterday? Yeah. I don't believe these girls committed suicide. Why the sudden change of heart, Birch? I just have a feeling these girls were murdered, and that I made a huge mistake in ruling their death as a suicide. The coroner just gave me the post-mortem report, and the cause of death is not consistent with the injuries these girls sustained. <clears throat> Listen, we need to move on from this case. There's nothing more you can do. Are you that cold-hearted and soulless? I can't move on from this case. The family's, the family members need closure, Quinn. Please help these girls and their families. Don't you care about anyone else but yourself? Come on, Quinn. Don't you want to know who did this to them? The choice you are about to make will alter the storyline. Help, Birch? Sure. <sighs> okay, I will help you. I need you to look at this. Look at what? Mm. Here's the official coroner's report on what caused each girl's death. Coroner's report. Daisy Winters. Date of death. 5-25-16. Time of death, 9 a.m. Place of death, Winter's Residence. Date of birth, 
12, 25, 98. Age 17. Female, Caucasian, blonde, blue eyes. Intestines and stomach are severely damaged. No abrasions to the body. Body, Bodies are extremely stiff and show advanced sign of rigor mortis. Heart arrhythmia. All, all major muscle groups show signs of inflammation, possible seizure, hypersolation, traces of acetaminophen, no trace of fingerprints on the body, cause of death, drug overdose. Leslie Falls. Date of death, 5-25-16. Time, 9 a.m. Winter's Residence. Date of birth, 10 7 Age 18, female, Caucasian, redhead, and blue eyes. Intestines and stomach are severely damaged. No abrasions to the body. Bodies are extremely stiff and show advanced signs of rigor mortis, heart arrhythmia. All major muscle groups show signs of inflammation, possible seizure, hypersolation, traces of acetaminophen, no trace of fingerprints on the body, drug overdose. So pretty much the same thing for the other one as well, except for the age and whatever. Okay. <clears throat> Did your forensics team find any pills or drugs when the, where the girls died? No, the room was clean. The forensics team searched the entire house and did not find a trace of evidence. Do you have any leads? We have a suspect. Who? Ann Winters. She is the mother of Daisy. Winters. This is our only lead at the moment. Besides poor, we found the girls dead. The mother was not home during the time of the death but was the first to find the girls dead. This drug, acetaminophen, isn't that like a fancy way of saying Tylenol? Or your run-of-the-mill typical pain medication? Yeah, pretty much. This was found in the girls' system. But you did not find any kind of pills or drugs at the Winter's home? We searched the entire house, every single room. We couldn't find anything. Was... You searching in the dark? That's English? Okay. Was you searching in the dark? Did you use your eyes? How about Blue's Clues, huh? I'm just kidding. Lighten up. Let's go talk to the mother slash suspect. Objective. Talk to Ann Winters. Okay. Let's snoop around first. What's this guy do? Huh. There's a button on the skeleton. Press the button. Yeah, sure. <laughs> An old song reference. Private eyes. They're watching you. They see your every move. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me, Gwen. Sorry if I just butchered that song, but <laughs> whatever. This town. You cannot make this crap up. You just can't. Okie dokie. Uh, I must save really quick. Mm, played another game called Chelsea. Can never figure that one out. Save. Okay. And away we go. Should I go to the strip club? <laughs> yeah, maybe some other time. Winter's residence. Need a mosquito. Holy hell, that is loud. Sorry if I just burst your guys' eardrums. Billing statement. Okay. Damn, having to bury your own child. I would not wish this on anyone. Not even my worst enemy. And holy shit, this music is still freaking loud. What's up here? Yay! Secret codes! I'll come back to that later. I'm gonna 
gonna snoop around this person's house before I get going. Oh, I found something. Woo! A note. That's a riddle. Do you want to read it? Yeah. Sure. Close the button. I am inside a home, away from home. What am I? Good question. If anybody knows, leave a comment. Okay, enough. Enough of that. Let's talk to Mom. <clears throat> Who are you? You can't just barge into people's homes unexpected. How dare you? My name is Quinn. I'm a private investigator, and I wanted to ask you a few questions about your daughter's death. I told Birch that I would only speak with him about the death of my daughter. He is the only officer I can trust to find out who killed my daughter. So you believe your daughter and her friends were murdered? Of course they were murdered. There was no way my daughter would have committed suicide. According to the coroner's report, it is believed the girls died from ingesting pills or drugs which led to an overdose. That is bullshit! Someone killed my daughter! Someone killed these girls. Did you kill Daisy and the two girls? Get out of my house, now! Hold on, wait just a minute. If it was just a question, a simple yes or no would have been more appropriate. Listen, I'm here to help. I'm not here to make enemies, believe it or not. You need me right now. I'm on your side. Birch assigned me. To this case and I'm going to do what I can to find out what really happened to these girls but I need your help will you help me hmm I'm sorry just find my daughter's killer I will do you mind if I take a look around the house no do whatever you need to do Daisy's room is to the left thanks Anne okay more exploring. Burp a derp a derp. Oh, what's this? Burp a derp. This jewelry looks fake. Quinn. I know. I'm in the wrong room. Don't care. I'm an investigator. I do what I want. Burp a derp. Burp a derp a derp. I'm herping and derping around because I'm an investigator. Oh, hey, a computer. This must be Daisy's computer. No shit, Sherlock. Pardon the pun. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away from his, of his own lust and enticed. Then, when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it has finished, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. James, one fourteen, one fifteen. I can English. I know I messed up there. A couple minutes. Anyway, books. Nothing interesting. Bed. More books. Nothing important. Good to know. Hey, a mirror. Let's look at myself. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest of them all? It can only be you, Quinn. <laughs> Cheeky bastard. <laughs> You're damn right. Daisy's school uniform. Neato. There's a button I need to push. Piano! <laughs> what, need to play a tune? I would love to play a tune. But I got something in to do. Something important. What was it? Oh yeah, I've got to solve a murder. Derp. Look at myself in the mirror again. Damn, I look good. Hey, what's this up here? Uh, okay, codes. I'll solve it if necessary. Probably will be. Burp, 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 burp. What's this? Didn't check this out before. School yearbook. Okay. It looks like it's missing some pages. Do you want to view the yearbook? Yes. Foxwood High School, with a picture of a lion on it. Class of 2016. Neat. 
Table of Contents, Introduction, Thought Bubble, Senior Portraits, Camera, Events and Organizations, Guitar, Honors and Achievements, Awards, obviously, Academics, Pen and Paper, Sports, Football, Senior Quotes, Baseball Cap, and Final Farewells, Graduation Hat. Okay. <clears throat> Introductions. <clears throat> From this point on, this will mark the new beginning of your life. If you ever get stuck in life, or feel like you can't press forward, just remember the secret to getting ahead in life is to get started. May God bless you with lots of love and happiness and success. Class of 2016. Senior quotes. Leslie Falls, one of the missing girls, or dead girls, whichever. Good times come and go, but the memories will last forever. Rose Summers. If you expect the world to be fair with you because you are fair, you're fooling yourself. That's like expecting a lion not to eat you because you did not eat, did not eat him. So true. Daisy Winters. Don't let your happiness depend on something you may lose. Also true. The other pages are missing. Well then, let's go back to the mom slash suspect. Hi there. I don't want to talk anymore. Please go talk to my husband if you need more information. Where is your husband? He's outside. Now would you just leave me alone and finish your investigation? Sure, right after I save. Ow. Sorry about that. Boop. Okay. I'm assuming... Oh. Okay, that's outside. Uh, let's save again, because I don't know what's going to happen. Boop. Didn't really get that far in my first part. Maybe I did. Don't really remember. Hi, guy. Who are you? What? Are you doing talking to my wife? Calm down, Mr. Winters. Don't you tell me what to do. You have n no idea what I've been through these past few days. Now you tell me who you are or I'm calling the police. <sighs> I am the police. My name is Quinn, and I'm trying to find out what happened to your daughter. My daughter is dead, and there's nothing you can do to bring her back to life. Just leave me and my family alone. You may have lost hope, Mr. Winters, but your wife hasn't. Why are you so quick to give up on your daughter? What kind of father are you? How dare you! You come into my house unannounced and then have the balls to talk to me like that. I'm doing everything in my power to keep from punching you right in your face. <laughs> Just try it, asshole. So don't hurt me! The hell? Just so I said, what the hell? What? Was your wife screaming like that? Yeah. What's wrong, Anne? Get away from me, Dan! Uh, okay. Uh, wrong way. Come on. Wrong way. Are we stupid? How could he do that? She's your daughter, you bastard! I did not want to believe it was true. What's wrong, Anne? Speak to me. I think you need to read this. It's Daisy's diary. Dear diary. Fix that. Day one. May 2nd, 2016. Monday. <laughs> Diary entry number one. I've seen him again. Today. He was outside my window, just staring at me. I was motionless. My heart was racing, and for a brief second, I thought I was going to die. If he only knew. I try not to let my emotions get the best of me. But I am terrified of him. 
I refused to say his name. Just the thought of me having his name in my mouth repulses me. When I talk to Mom about the incident, she insists that there is nothing to worry about. I don't understand how she can be so calm when she knows what's going on. What is she going to do when it's too late? How would she feel if I died? Day 2, May 3rd, 2016, Tuesday. Diary entry number 2. He came into my room again last night. I pretended like I was asleep. It helped me get through the night. Once I woke up, I rushed to the bathroom and took a shower. I scrubbed from head to toe, but I still feel dirty. I need to tell someone about this before it gets worse. If I do tell, will they believe me? Daisy. Day 3, May 4th, 2016, Wednesday. Diary entry number 3. I cannot speak for long now. He is watching me. I will use codes from now on, just like we learned in class. You should be able to figure out the combination. I will leave you hints in the next entry. Diary entry number four. I, K, L, four, E, two, three. It, eight, E, one, nine, one, eight, five, A, D, nine, one, four, G, M, two, five, D, nine, one, R, two, five. I one three G one five one N or I N seven. Sorry, messed up there. Daisy. Day four, May seventh, twenty sixteen, Saturday. Entry number five. F O L four L two five H five K L. Four E two three. Diary entry number six. I eight A T five. Y one five U. Diary entry number seven. H E one two P M five. H E one two P M five. H E one two P M five. Daisy. Day 5, May 11th, 2016, Wednesday. Diary entry number 8. We, don't, we do not need to use codes anymore. I started hiding my diary so he cannot find it. I know you said I should talk to Police Chief Birch, but I am scared. What if he finds out? It might make the situation worse than it already is. I don't know what to do anymore. I can't, I can't do this on my own. I need your help. Daisy. You sick bastard. Dan, place your hands behind your back. What? You're under arrest. And with that, I'm going to save and pick it up next time. I hope this one doesn't cut out. And I hope you all enjoy. Stay beautiful. Bye-bye.